And we are off for some lunch. Subway band. <laughs> Subway, because it's leg day, so, you know. I'm going to have a low-fat soap. We checked the macros online last night. Or was it this morning? Last, last night. night. So, I can't be asked to take the stairs. Yeah. We need the lift later for legs anyway. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go for a Subway now because we're starving. We had rice cakes and peanut butter with banana on for breakfast. So, How many did you have? Okay, I had four plain rice cakes. <laughs> and then I had four with ground. Uh, four with banana and peanut butter on, so don't judge. So yeah, we're off to the subway now and then we're going to Starbucks as well because the internet is being a douche in the hotel. So we have to go edit and upload some things for Instagram and yeah. So we're about to walk to Subway, so we will catch up with you when we are at Subway and I'll show you what I have. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, um, can I have the six inch chicken breast sub on honey oat, please? Um, no cheese, please. Uh, yeah, please. Six inch steak and cheese, please, on honey oats, please. Steak and cheese toast, please. Uh, yes, please. Red onion, please. Oh, the chicken's falling out. Right, so I had a chicken sub in, what is it again? This honey, honey, oat. honey oat bread. And literally, I've only got salad, cucumber, and red onion. So, let me just get the macros book on the phone. Yeah. Macros are literally 295 calories, 2.9 fat, um, 40 carbs, and like 3 sugars, and then 25 fruit, 26 fruit. So, I'm going to try this now. I've got steak. Steak? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to say the macros to yours. It's not that bad. Oh, totally jealous. Like, look at that cheese. Oh my god. Sweet onion sauce. And sweet onion. And what a cookie as well. Like, that I can't touch. So. Yeah, we're gonna eat this now and then we're heading over to Starbucks to have, like, a coffee and we'll edit. So, I'll catch oh up later. Thank you. 
iced Americano, so like a cold brew with, what was it, two shots of vanilla, two shots of caramel sugar free syrup, and then two stevias. So, we'll see what it's like when we add stevias. Give it a mix. <laughs> It's really awkward to mix. There we go. That's better. Better? It's a lot better. <laughs> right guys, so oh my god, it is very windy outside as you can probably tell and raining but we just got back from, um, well it's been, how long have we been, like two hours? About three. Yeah around three hours. We went for Subway first as we showed you and then we went for Starbucks and we edited for around an hour and a half. I think so, yeah. Up another now. Probably. Yeah, so we've got quite a big like chunk done, but it's taking some time, but hopefully it'll be done by tonight. And well, you'll be watching it. Uh, well, have watched it. It'll be up. So Yeah, we're on the right level. Are we on the right level? Yeah, so, so we're just going back to the room now and I need to do a little bit of work for my oh my gosh, look at my windswept hair. But yeah, I need to do a bit of work for my course because uh, for tomorrow and then we're going to go off to the gym to train legs and we shall film that for you as well. Little tip. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ever seen Marmite breadsticks in the shop? Don't buy them. You They're just, disgusting. He just bought Marmite breadsticks. I love Marmite. Yeah, he loves Marmite and he literally put it in his mouth and heaved. Yeah. Oh great, I can't find the key. It should be in that pocket somewhere. Hotel living problems. But yeah, so we're just gonna get in the room now. Probably head to the gym around hour ish. So lights on. We have light, we have light. Yeah, so head to the gym around an hour and film next for you guys. So we will catch up with you then. So, like always, I pretty much um, started my workout with barbell squats. Um, here I did four sets of, it was like 10 to 12 reps. Um, I can't really work, like I have mentioned before, that I can't really go that heavy on barbell squats because of my lower back issues, but I am actually gradually increasing the weight. So, I have got to around just above 60, I think it was probably around 62 because I'm gradually increasing it. But here I think I'm doing around 55 because I just wanted to work on my reps for this session. So yeah, like I said, I was doing around 10 to 12. And when I do my squats, I have to, like I hate doing half reps. I have to go all the way down. So if I don't, I always say, no, that didn't count. And I just do it again. But yeah, basically I started off the session um, with barbell squats on around 55k and yeah I did around four sets of this in total and around I did around three warm-up on around say 50k so that's how I started my session I then moved on to some deadlifts and only recently um, I've actually started doing regular deadlifts but um, here I have around 70 kilograms on the bar and I was actually shocked because I I started deadlifts around I think it was around two weeks ago when I came up to Cardiff and I was like oh I don't know how much weight I'm gonna be able to do on this at all but I just stuck 65k on and I actually found it alright and this week like I was able to go up to 70 and I got 8 to 10 reps on this so I was really chuffed and I was like wow I'm gonna focus on these even more because I think I am capable of increasing my weight much more especially when my body adapts to the movement so yeah I have now found a favorite exercise 
just deadlifts. I always look so knackered after I do sets, it's quite funny. I then moved on to Bulgarian spit squats. So um, I really like these because I feel a proper burn in my whole entire leg to be honest and I normally superset them um, with my just regular booty kickbacks because after doing a set of the um, split squats my glute is literally just firing so I find if I go straight into uh, glute kickbacks I just get the burn and the pump is crazy and obviously you do this on both legs Dion bloody zooming in on my butt. I didn't even realise that you did this until I was putting this video together. <laughs> but yeah, um, a great exercise, you should definitely try it. Then I went on to walking lunges and unfortunately like, they won't let me use the barbell to do walking lunges in Pio Gym here. So I'm stuck using the kettlebells. I've got around 16 kilograms on each kettlebell, so uh, 32 kilograms in total. And oh my god, it burns! Because when you like when you're walking, the kettlebells naturally swing to the leg that you're uh, lunging on, and just having that weight on one leg is literally killer. And at the end, you'll be able to see. Like, I'm nearly dying. I then moved on to my cable RDLs. Um, I do these more than RDLs with a barbell because I just find the movement much more natural and especially on my hips and my lower back. Like if you guys do suffer with lower back problems I would recommend trying this because I just think it's so much easier and there's less stress. So yeah, here I did again four sets and 10 to 12 reps and I think I was on around 70 kilograms. I then moved on to leg press and this is literally the best leg press I've ever come across because again it's just made to feel so natural because I find some leg press is really awkward but here again I did another four sets and it was 15 to 20 reps because I find that if I use leg press I always go for higher reps so I then moved on to leg extensions and here I did um, four sets of um, 12 to 15 reps and on the final set I did a drop set and oh my lord I think I could hardly walk after doing this exercise I also included some isometric holds um, because I find that they just build up the lactic acid in your quads and yeah it's very painful <laughs> you should definitely try it I then moved on to lying hamstring curls um, this is literally become one of my most favorite pieces of equipment and I really wish I had it back home but it's so much more natural movement and I don't feel the pressure behind my knees but yeah, here I did four sets of 12 to 15 reps and on the last set I did a drop set again and oh my god, like like with the ha uh, leg extensions I don't think I could walk after this exercise but luckily I only had one exercise left of the whole entire session which was these blue pit kick packs on this most amazing machine I've ever come across um, Normally you see me do it using the cables but yeah this is just so much more natural and I can use much more heavier weight so yeah that's the end of this video guys and I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did remember to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it really does mean a lot and yeah I will see you all in the next one bye